evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to begin with that tentative deal between the UAW and Fiat Chrysler. Union leaders signed off on the second proposed contract yesterday, but now workers are reviewing the details of the four-year deal. 13 ABC Senna Orr is live at the North Assembly plant with more on what workers have to say. Senna? Well, Bill, many who were leaving work this afternoon gave us a thumbs up. Some say this deal is promising, while others are still a bit cautious. Now, this proposal gives Tier 2 workers at PATH to make just as much as veteran workers. Under the terms, new hires would be able to make $29 an hour in eight years. Longtime workers are set to get a raise, which is a first in nine years. Now, this deal also includes bonuses and profit sharing. In all, the UAW says employees will make $20,000 more over the next four years, but work we talked with are still digesting these details. Um, the deal is great, but you know, we got to read it thoroughly through first and then find out the details, of everything, and make sure we're getting the 29 for sure. You're damned if you do or damned if you don't. You know, they control, they control everything. And UAW members are expected to vote on this proposed contract within the next nine days. Reporting live in Toledo tonight, Senna Ora, 13 ABC Action News. But we begin with that tentative deal between the UAW and Fiat Chrysler. It's once again in the hands of workers. Union leaders signed off on the second proposed contract Friday. Now UAW members are reviewing the details of the four-year-old deal, four-year deal. 13 ABC Senna Ora joins us with more of what workers had to say about it tonight. Senna? Well, Bill, union leaders say they have secured big gains in wages and job security. Some workers call this a promising deal, while others remain a bit more cautious tonight. All right. Some workers leaving the North Assembly plant gave the thumbs up on the tentative deal. Vote, yes. While some are already for it, one worker had a few choice words for CEO Sergio Marchioni. He's a thief. He's stealing from the retirees. A thief. But the majority of workers we talked with say they're optimistic. The deal is great, but you know, we got to read it thoroughly through first and then find out the details of everything and make sure we're getting the 29 for sure. This proposal gives Tier 2 workers a path to top pay, making just as much as their veteran traditional workers. New hires would be able to make $30 an hour in eight years. Those traditional workers are also set to get a raise, the first in nine years. Health care remains unchanged, and in all, the UAW says employees will make $20,000 more over the next four years. Go, you damned if you do or damned if you don't. You know, they control. They control everything. Steve Copeland, a 30-year employee, says this contract is aimed at the younger workforce. He says product change at the plant is a big deal. Some feel those are not detailed in this new proposal. Cherokee production will move to Belvedere, Illinois, and losing a top seller is still a sore subject for loyal Jeep workers like Steve. I don't think they should have took our bread and butter, you know. We built that line from nothing and made it every, you know, you look in the paper, we got record setting sales and uh, it's like, come on now, why would you do that to us? And this offer also includes more specifics about Fiat Chrysler's $5.3 billion U.S. investment and which plants will get part of that. Informational meetings at local union halls still have to happen, and UAW members are expected to vote on that proposed contract within the next nine days. Reporting live tonight, Senator Ora, 13 ABC Action News.